from tomorrow, Monday, 28th March, fully vaccinated travelers into Ghana will not take PCR tests from the country of embarkation to allow them entry into the country through the KIA and will not be tested on arrival. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Before I go on to what I have for you today, the very, very good news, um, I want to say shout-outs to Yofi. So Yofi is a friend of mine who started this uh, beautiful African wear clothes line, I think so. And he's, he's, calling this, and he's calling this one Yo Mate. Yo Mate. I think that is the name of the business or the company, Yo Made. So Yo Made is into printing, designing beautiful African prints. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Ekwa Simpson. Hey, if this is your first time of checking out my video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, we are trying to get more subscribers, more beautiful, awesome followers like yourself so that we can bring you relevant content each and every day. But before I get into it, I want to say a big shout out to a friend of mine. His name is Yofi. So Yofi has started this new cloth line, which he calls it Yo Made. So that is what I'm wearing now. So Yo Made is made of African prints. Hey, do you remember 2020, around March, there was a lockdown in most of the countries in this world? Yes, because of COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19 came in at the wrong timing because it was supposed not to have come. It, it shouldn't even be among us. But hey, we don't know what happened. Nature brought it up. Or oh, I know there's uh, my brothers and sisters who, you know, from a different perspective, see this as a conspiracy um, dealings from the Europeans or, or from the white or whatever. But hey, now there's a good news. Everybody is going about doing his own thing, especially when he come to Ghana. Yes, COVID also hit us. I think we lost about 1,500 people. Uh, may they are so rest in peace. There were certain measures that were, you know, put in place to curb and to, you know, reduce the spread of this COVID-19 here in Ghana and in Africa. I remember the president of Ghana put a lockdown in certain places, not the whole country, certain places. The airspace was also closed, no flights coming in or going out. And then uh, the land borders were also closed. Nobody will go out or come in. All of these things were made or were put in place to curb the spread of the coronavirus. So fast forward in December 2020 or 2021, uh, the president of Ghana said, hey, enough is enough. Open the airspace. So people started traveling. I was even part of it. I traveled to um, Rwanda and Ethiopia. And it was so beautiful. You know, since 2021, there's been several presentations by the president of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu. Yes, about the state of the country in terms or in relation to COVID-19. But yesterday, he made another presentation that I would say is really beautiful for people who are selling or buying and selling from other countries who cannot afford to take a flight. Yes, I mean, in Ghana here, what I've realized is economically, people will love to go and buy stuff and then sell them in wholesale and sell them as retail, all right? So mostly people go to Cote d'Ivoire, which is on our left, or they will go to Togo, which is on our right, or Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and other places to go get some items and come and sell. But due to the closure of the border, some of these businesses came to a halt. Yes, and it was so disturbing. I was speaking to a friend of mine who said, you know what? Um, let's think about all those people who went to buy stuff and they couldn't bring it because the borders were closed and all. And now there's a good news. The president of Ghana, Nana Adudanko, is saying that from 28th, which is today, 28th March, the land borders should be opened. Yes. So now my business friends and uh, families who would love to go out there and then buy whatever they want to buy and bring it to Ghana, definitely the door has been opened to you. 
but there are a few things that we have to look at when it comes to you know going in and coming in definitely the president has also put this um what do you call it you have to inject the, take the job the COVID 19 vaccine um you need to get a card uh, the COVID card so when you're traveling you have to show that hey i've taken the vaccine i'm not going to spread the, the, the virus into your country or whatever or you need to have a PCR test. So I'll go onto my phone and read some few tidbits of what the president mentioned on yesterday's presentation. He's, he normally starts with, hello, fellow Ghanaians. So I'm going to do the same. So fellow Ghanaians, so this is what he's saying. All in-person activities such as those that take place in churches, mosque conferences, workshops, private parties, and events, cinemas, theaters may resume at full capacity. So now you can go to church and have the whole place filled up. You can go to the sports stadium and have the whole place filled up. So that is what he's saying. As long as the audience and participants are fully vaccinated, let's take that into consideration. You need to be vaccinated. Like he said, this is what my president is saying. Okay, uh, hand washing and hand sanitizing points should be made available in those places. We've been washing our hands now, we look so white <laughs> because we've been washing our hands each and every day outdoor functions a sporting event entertainment centers political rallies and funeral may resume at full capacity from tomorrow monday 28 full vaccinated travelers into ghana will not take pcr test from the country of embarkation to allow them entry into the country through the kia and will not be tested on arrival so what the president is saying now is that from 28 if you are fully vaccinated, I think there's a card that will show that you have fully vaccinated your body. If you show this card, then when you get to our country, Ghana, there is no need for you to do a PCR test. Yes, provided you are fully vaccinated, you don't have so fully vaccinated travelers into Ghana will not take the PCR test. Yeah, so when it gets into the country and then you show that, hey, I'm coming from the UK, I'm coming from the US, and I'm fully vaccinated, this is my card, then when it gets to Ghana, there's no need for you to take the PCR test. And that shows that you're going to save that $150 or the $50 that we normally pay at the airport when we come. I remember uh, in November when I went to Ethiopia and, and I was coming back, uh, a lot of Ghanaians, when we got to the airport, they were like, you need to take the PCR and we're fighting with the people. Why should I take it? Because honestly, you take a PCR test from Rwanda. Within five hours, you are in Ghana. You get to Ghana, you need to pay another money to do that. That was some BS right there. But hey, um, every country is trying to put up you know, certain measures to keep this whole thing. So citizens of foreign residents in Ghana who are not fully vaccinated would, however, need to provide a negative a negative PCR test result of not more than 48 hours will undergo an antigen test upon arrival at KIA and will be offered vaccination there. So if you've not fully vaccinated yourself and you get to Ghana, the president says that if you're a citizen or a foreign resident in Ghana, you're coming back home and then you are not fully vaccinated, they would want to see a 48 hour PCR test. So that means you may choose to get the vaccine or not. Now it's not by force from your country. So when you come to Ghana, you either show the card. If you don't have the card, fine. If you're not fully vaccinated, fine. But they would want to see a 48-hour PCR test. So you should take it the day you're coming. This is getting interesting. From tomorrow, Monday, 28th March, the wearing of face masks is no longer mandatory. I encourage all of you, though, to continue to maintain hand, enhanced hand hygiene practices and avoid overcrowded gatherings. All in-person activities, such as those that take place in churches, mosques, conferences, workshops, private parties and events, cinemas and theaters, may resume at full capacity as long as the audience and all participants are fully vaccinated. Hand washing and hand sanitizing points should be made available 
at these venues. Outdoor functions at sporting events, entertainment spots, political rallies and funerals may resume at full capacity. Currently, the Kutuka International Airport only allows fully vaccinated passengers who are in possession of a 72-hour negative PCR test result prior to embarkation and have a negative antigen test on arrival, entry into the country. Ghanaian citizens and foreign residents in Ghana who are unvaccinated or not fully vaccinated currently are given waivers by the Ghana Health Service to allow them entry into the country through the Kutuka International Airport. They must also have a 72-hour negative PCR test result prior to embarkation, take an antigen test on arrival, and are offered vaccination. From tomorrow, Monday, 28th March, fully vaccinated travelers into Ghana will not take PCR tests from the country of embarkation to allow them entry into the country through the KIA and will not be tested on arrival. Citizens and foreign residents in Ghana who are not fully vaccinated would, however, need to provide a negative PCR test result of not more than 48 hours. They will undergo an antigen test upon arrival at KIA and will be offered vaccination there. Ghana's foreign missions have been instructed to make vaccination a requirement for visa acquisition. It is worth noting that the establishment of the COVID-19 testing infrastructure at the Kutuka International Airport by Frontier Healthcare Services Limited at its own cost has been key to our ability to limit successfully the importation of the virus into Ghana through the airport. The efficacy of the testing regime at KIA has won global admiration and has been applauded by all those who have undergone its testing. It has been one of the reasons why Ghana was not at the receiving end of several of the travel bans imposed by the West at the height of the pandemic, for which many African countries were affected. As from tomorrow, Monday, the 28th March, all land and sea borders will be opened. Fully vaccinated travelers will be allowed entry through the land and sea borders without a negative PCR test result from the country of origin. Citizens and foreign residents in Ghana who are not fully vaccinated will have to produce a negative 48-hour PCR test result and will be offered vaccination on arrival. Fellow Ghanaians, it has been a difficult two years for all of us, and we're seeing light at the end of a very long tunnel. I appeal to all of you to live responsibly, protect yourselves at all times, and do everything we can to stay safe. As we lift these restrictions, now is the time for all of us to join hands, work hard, and help put our nation back onto the path of progress and prosperity as we resume full production and increase productivity. We'll say, hey. Thank you very much for checking me. I wanted to come through with this one. It's been a while that I came on your set because I'm having a lot of um, you know, difficulties, so I'm trying to solve them. My car won't work no more, and it's difficult for me to be moving around. And then uh, school is in session. You know, I'm a teacher by profession. School is in session now. We'll be breaking very soon. We'll be writing our examination, like, um, this week. So I've been a little bit busy going up and down and all that. But, hey, I'll be bringing you more coming month. Watch out and subscribe to my